Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I am Muhammad Yaseen. This is virtual class of Pakistan International School Taif. This class is for the students of grade 8. We are doing chapter 4 and this is our 35th video in this class. After today's lesson, we shall be able to write a letter to mother about class test. We shall be able to write a paragraph by school. Uh, we shall be able to understand the passage given in chapter 4. We shall learn the correct meaning and pronunciation of new words given in chapter 4. And then we shall do some exercises of chapter 4 also. This is the letter, fourth letter. This letter is taken from your book of uh, grammar and composition. The layout is very simple. You are very much familiar with the layout. First of all, you write here your address. You can write examination hall, taif, date, dear mother. I am sorry I did not write to you earlier as I was busy preparing for my test in physics. It was held yesterday. My performance in the test is satisfactory. I hope to get full marks in it. I attempted 11 questions. The answer to one question was wrong, but it was an extra question. I hope that you are satisfied with my explanation now. Pay my regards to everyone at home, yours affectionately. Here will be your name. I think you have got the idea. You are writing a letter here to your mother to tell her about your test. You will show here your satisfaction. Uh, whatever the situation is, you will explain it to your mother. I think you have got the idea. As I tell you always, not important it is to learn it by heart, word to word. You can change it, add in it, leave from it to make it your own letter. Dear students, we are going to start paragraph writing. Let us read what is a paragraph, how can we write. Before starting the first one, what is a paragraph writing? A paragraph on a theme or a subject is a short piece of meaningful composition. It avoids elaborate details of the subject. When we are writing paragraph, we do not write so much detail. A paragraph is a complete unit in itself. It is not split up into different paras. In its brief, precise and to the point treatment of the subject, it has a shape, format and style of its own. A paragraph like an essay shows your command of vocabulary, grammar and idiomatic expression. It also indicates your degree of knowledge of the theme or subject under discussion. You are supposed to have adequate knowledge and information relevant to the subject. Your choice of vocabulary should be appropriate. You can draw on the textbook vocabulary to express your ideas. You may have come across many more words in magazines, fiction, uh, fiction is novel, drama, newspapers, commercials, commercials are the ads that we watch on television or we see in newspapers, advertisements we watch on television and see in newspapers. All this fund of vocabulary will surely make your paragraphs interesting as well as original. Yes, students. This is the guidance given by the author to guide us. We have read it. I would like you read it two, three times and try to understand what the writer wants to say before starting paragraph writing. 
let us move to write first paragraph the title of first paragraph is my school we are going to write a paragraph about our school let us read it when we write paragraph my school we shall start my school is a place of great charm for me although its building is pretty old yet it seems to cast a spell on us if you could not understand the meaning of any of these words you can see it in your dictionary or you can leave it change it you can use your own words also some of the walls are massive the big ones and ceiling are very high even the cruel summer fails to make our classrooms hot and humid yes uh, the location of my school is just by the side of the historic fort fort is uh, uh, a place usually used by the army to live over there the high walls of the fort secured with signs of wind and weather look wonderful they have a mystery of their own we understand our history lesson very well because of nearness to the famous fort the teaching staff at my school is kind and devoted a large playground with a row of evergreen tall trees faces the school building what is more it is away from all the hustle and bustle hustle and bustle we say when so many people are there busy while buying selling hustle and bustle of the main road i am glad that my school is far ahead of others in good results sports debates library and scouting yes dear students you can uh, change this paragraph add in it leave from it Uh, to write exactly about your school this is only to give you layout the outline just like a sample to give you some idea to write the paragraph dear students now we have come to the lesson here are a few words we shall learn to pronounce them correctly for example this first word is perilous perilous means very dangerous it can be journey whatever the thing is venture means a new activity usually in business that involves risk or uncertainty furiously means in a very angry way refuge means a place that gives protection or shelter from danger instantly means immediately this is the top of the first page of our lesson that we are going to start the title of the lesson is hazrat asma let us start reading dear students uh, this lesson is just like a story when we finish the reading you should be able to read out this story uh, to any one other Let us read the question first while reading this paragraph we shall try to find out the answer of this question who were immigrants and where did they migrate to let us read the paragraph and try to find out the answer the holy prophet and his close companion hazrat abu bakr siddiq migrated from makkah to madina in the year 622 ad When the chiefs of various tribes of Makkah came to know about the migration of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and his close companion Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu they got furious the chiefs were determined more than ever to find them out they offered huge rewards and bounties for their capture dead or alive yes they announced uh, prizes if someone could find them 
uh, dead or alive dear students the question was who were migrants and where did they migrate to the migrants were hazrat our holy prophet peace be upon him and his close companion hazrat abu bakr siddiq these were the immigrants uh, and they migrated from mecca to madina this will be the answer of this question this is paragraph 2 the preparation for this journey was made at the house of hazrat abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu hazrat asma radhiyallahu ta'ala anha rendered useful services in this regard she prepared food for this journey she tried the food on the camel she tied the food on the camel bag with her own belt as nothing else could be found for this service she was given the title of zatun nataqan by the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam paragraph 3 is during the perilous journey dangerous journey it was very difficult for anyone to supply food to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam it was so delicate that the slightest mistake could have endangered the life of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this grand task was nicely undertaken by hazrat asma radhiyallahu ta'ala anha the daughter of hazrat abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu every night with the pack of food she would quietly venture towards the rugged mountains in which lay the cave of thor she took care of the minute detail in accomplishing the task how difficult it must have been for her to uh, traverse the rocky path at night with the constant fear of being detected yes students so difficult it was this is paragraph number 4 before before starting it let us look at the questions what do you understand by the phrase in a fit of fury why was abu jahal furious on the night of the migration a tribal receive a type tribal chief of disbelievers abu jahal in a fit of fury in a fit of fury means very angry had it towards means went over moved towards hazrat abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu hazrat abu bakr siddiq's home he began knocking at the door violently violently means very angrily addressing hazrat asma where is your father she politely replied how would i know this response shows the wisdom and courage of hazrat asma radhiyallahu ta'ala anha she didn't make a statement that would give him a clue she simply posed a counter question that infuriated abu jahal he slapped hazrat asma radhiyallahu ta'ala anha's face so hard that her earring fell off but she remained steadfast steadfast and did not reveal the secret her grandfather hazrat abu kuhafa was a disbeliever at that time he was very old and had become blind he said to her asma i think abu bakr has taken all the wealth leaving you and children empty handed and helpless at this she instantly ran to a corner of the home she gathered some pebbles and put them at the place where her father used to keep his money and jewels she covered it with a piece of cloth come grandfather look he has left all this for us he touched the cloth and thought it was full of gold and jewels 
his concern was alleviated and he felt relieved to know that Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu had left all his wealth at home. Yes, students, this is next paragraph and the question for this paragraph is what other words you can use for accepted? Next question is note the sequence of events in the text. Classify and organize the main traits of Hazrat Asma. Let us read the question. Sorry, let us read the paragraph. Hazrat Asma radiallahu ta'ala anha was amongst the early few who accepted Islam. She was the daughter of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq and stepsister of Hazrat Aisha Siddiqa. She was wife of Hazrat Zubair bin Alawam radiallahu ta'ala anhu and mother of Hazrat Abdullah bin Zubair. She died at the ripe age, ripe old age of about 100 years. Hazrat Abdullah bin Zubair ta'ala anhu used to say that he had not seen anybody more generous and open-hearted than his aunt Hazrat Aisha ta'ala anha, and his mother. Hazrat Asma was so generous that she sold that she sold the garden inherited after the death of her sister Hazrat Aisha Allah ta'ala anha. She gave away all the money to the poor and the needy. Nobody ever returned empty-handed from her doorstep. Hazrat Aisha will always be remembered for her courage, generosity and wisdom. She had resolute faith in Allah Almighty. Her life would always be a beacon of light for all of us. Dear students, this was the lesson we have read. Let us have a look at the theme. Uh, the theme will be the same. The things will be the same which we have read. The theme of the lesson is to know and appreciate appreciate how Muslim women stood with integrity and valor for the cause of Islam. Uh, valor, courage. Not only did they help the cause, but they were also the role model for the entire Muslim Ummah. Most often, they were perfect examples of modesty, truthfulness, honesty, piety, bravery, and even generosity. Uh, dear students, this was the theme, and the writer has tried to focus this theme throughout the lesson. This is the glossary we have focused some of the words, uh, for example, Perilous, venture, furiously, refuse, instantly, constant means regular. Detect means to find out. Ripe means mature. Reveal means show, tell. This is the oral activity. What is oral activity? We have done so many before. Oral activity means not to write anything, to talk about only. Answer the following questions orally. No need is there to write the answers of these questions, but we have to answer by speaking, by talking. Discuss the silent features and features of the personality of Hazrat Asma. Dear students, we come to know she was very brave, courageous, she was very generous, she never uh, returned anybody from her doorstep empty-handed whenever anybody comes came on the doorstep she always helped him or her name some prominent women in today's world life share their achievements dear students this uh, question can be done in your homework i would like you search in google i can give you some examples for example what is the question? Question is, who are the prominent women in this world today? I would like to show you, this is Aisha Farooq. Aisha Farooq is fighter pilot. She is pilot. 
and she flies fighter plane she flies fighter plane she is from our dear homeland she is from pakistan and she is from bahawalpur yes she is from bahawalpur pakistan and uh, there are some other women uh, that you can see on the internet also uh, we can uh, discuss here i have given a list there are pictures uh, the world's most powerful women in 2019 their names are given their pictures are you can read about them on internet more okay let us come back again to the exercise this was the answer of part 2 we were discussing about the most prominent women in the world what contribution can women make to the society in pakistan in pakistan we can talk about that women is uh, uh, equal in ability to the men whatever the professions are adopted by men women can adopt all those women can do the things which men are doing they can become doctor engineer pilot as we have seen an example to work for the progress and prosperity of our dear homeland pakistan dear students after this we are set arrange a group discussion to comprehend the following statements abu bakr siddiq must have taken all the wealth leaving you and children behind empty handed This is the statement given by Hazrat Asma's grandfather Abu Kohafa who was blind at that time he said to Hazrat Asma uh, in fact she he was feeling that Hazrat Abu Bakr has taken everything from home by leaving Hazrat Asma and the children empty handed what does it it mean what is the meaning of this statement it the statement means that um hazrat abu bakr siddiq has not left anything at home here we are said to uh, try to understand the meaning of this statement next statement is this grand task was nicely undertaken by hazrat asma what does it mean it means hazrat asma performed the duty very nicely very carefully by hiding herself from everyone by uh, accepting this task this was so difficult for anyone to do it to perform it but she did it so nicely yes students this was oral activity let us move forward stress and intonation what is stress and intonation let us try to understand what is stress stress is read the words carefully and note the stressed and unstressed syllables in them dear students when we read husband how shall we read husband husband has will be pronou pronounced loudly bend will be produced will be pronounced with lower sound husband try to understand the difference between the sound of has and bent husband about sound of a is lower than bout about arrive remarkable when we pronounce remarkable re is pronounced with lower sound mark is pronounced with higher sound we call it it is stressed able is pronounced with lower sound important important im lower sound tent lower sound po higher sound important 
photography photography to is pronounced with higher sound fo with lower sound graphy with lower sound in a dictionary the mark this is the mark look at this mark this mark shows the main stress in a word this shows a main stress in a word okay what is intonation the rise and fall of the voice in speaking is intonation what is intonation the rise and fall voice in speaking the intonation try to understand for example if i if i say to my friend if i say to my friend would you please like to have a cup of coffee with me at my place would you like to have a cup of coffee with me at my place if you focus at the sound you will come to know when i pronounce this sentence sometimes the sound is going up sometimes it is coming down sometimes it is going up again sometimes it is going down again try to understand it i shall pronounce it once again i am saying to my friend would you like to have a cup of coffee with me at my place could you understand this going up and coming down of the sound is called intonation is called intonation we shall try to understand with the help of these examples the words that are in bold show the intonation pattern if i read number 1 how shall i read do you like it now i shall read number 2 do you like it now i shall read number 3 do you like it now i shall read number 4 do you like it here do is pronounced loudly in sentence number 1 you is pronounced loudly in sentence number 3 like is pronounced loudly in sentence number 4 it is pronounced loudly you can see the words in each sentence are same can you see the words are same yes but we have stressed different words in these four sentences when we stress a different word the meaning changes the meaning changes when we focus at do it means this is a question someone want to ask someone other if he like it when we focus you it means the person who is asking the question he is not sure about the person in fact it is unbelievable for him that the person like that thing what does it mean when we focus on like when we focus on like this means the person who is asking the question think that the person dislike that thing but he is saying i like it for the person asking the question it is unbelievable that he like in fact he is thinking that the person responding him dislike that thing what is the meaning of part number 4 question number 4 is focusing on it the person asking the question believe that the person like but not that thing the person like something other that is why he is focusing the word it to make sure that he likes this thing 
Dear students, I have tried to explain the difference among the meaning of these four sentences. This is a new thing for you. First of all, try to believe that when we focus different words in the same sentence, the meaning changes. Then you try to understand the difference among the meaning of these four sentences. You will understand, hopefully. In your homework, you will learn and write a letter to mother about class test. You will learn and write a paragraph, my school. Then you will read the passage given in this lesson two, three times to develop a better understanding of this passage. And dear students, that is all from our today's lesson. See you later in a new lesson. Goodbye.